This is an ITN Radio Televisual News Report with David Simons. Hello. Uh, good. Hello, good, uh, good afternoon. This is the 40 News. Two men were shot down at Hartley Street, East London, last night. It's just a fall. This is the turn. It's just a fall. It's at this park. It's just a fall. It's a turn. It's a fall. Last morning. This is Peter Beniston Smythe reporting live from the newly completed Hodging Street train station. Many naysayers have said that this station, newly completed, is a death trap and will have many accidents over the years. But this is, of course, preposterous nonsense. Poppycock and naysay. Where's my face? This station is so completely safe that I'd be willing to stake my reputation for the rest of my life. And if I'm wrong, then may someone shoot me in the head. This is Peter Beniston Smythe reporting live for International Television News, Hotting Street. There's a train crash on Hotton Street in East London. There's a door fire. There is Steve Bills. Steve. Thank you, Dave. Alfred Weird here, reporting on the latest train crash in Hodging Street. And Dad, I... can I ask you a question? Not now a little bit. I'm busy. Oh. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. Now, I can't remember if this is either the third or fourth train crash we've had here this week, because, like the train itself, it's hard to keep on track. <laughs> The driver of this train was seriously injured when he fell on top of his boiler and received third-degree burns to his bum. <laughs> Which means he is no longer able to sit down because, like the train he was driving, he has a tender behind. <laughs> oh, now, where was I? Um, uh, sorry about that. I lost my train of thought. <laughs> <laughs> this is Alfred Weird for Idea News. England and Wales. The portal is is Dave Bells. Simmons, ITN, who There's a melting man in Houghton Street in Charles at some point, as you see on the six right here. Wayne, Wayne Holders is here with me, the port. And they go by many names. Chickens, fluffy birds, egg poopers, beaked buttholes, delicious walking dinner, and of course, Edward the chicken. They are usually content with staying on the farm and pooping out eggs. But now it seems these chickens are getting their kicks from meandering across highways or something other of that nature that we haven't come up with a name for yet. This can often lead to tragedy, as in most cases, many chickens are killed by motor vehicular vehicles running them over. But it's not all bad, because we can simply throw them in the deep fat fryer if that happens. I found this local chicken, but he refused to comment on the subject. Excuse me, Mr. Chicken, but could you please explain why you chickens are doing this? Mr. Chicken? Mr. Chicken? Mr. Chicken? Mr. Chicken? Mr. Chicken? Mr. Chicken? So it appears for now, at least, 
This will be the greatest question of our generation. Why did the chicken meander across this motorway, traverse this travelway, or as the famous saying will no doubt become, why did the chicken cross that bit of land over there? This is Wayne Holness Sr. reporting for ITN Radio Televisual News Report. Face me years again. Two rivers shut down on Hodgkin Street, East London. It's a tour, 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 it's a t